It's not a race. It's not how much you memorize, more so than how much you apply. And all of us are going to be tried on different levels to see what we believe. Even that fight, that's how you know you're in the battle. When you're you getting scarred up, when you're getting knocked around, when God is just knocking you here and knocking you there, that's how you know you're in the fight, that's how you know you're alive. Bad defenders, the native Indians, are the children of God. You're the two people according to the Bible. Yeah, that's right, it's right here. This is the really lynch left. Everybody should have this. You're gonna have, you're gonna see your history, you're gonna see Bible prophecy coming out of this book. Now watch this, I'm gonna show you something that they did. Watch it. Give me one second. Watch this. Soldier, come around here. You read this, soldier. Come on this side. Read this. Start from right here. Highlight it. In this breaking of the female nigger. So this is what they did, the so-called white man that had us in slavery, to break us, our women. We have reversed the relationship. He reversed the relationship. The man was the head, and he put the woman as the head. You get Isaiah chapter 3 and 12. I'm going to show you that same thing we just read right here in the Bible. Isaiah 3 and 12. That's right. Read. In her natural, uncivilized state, she would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger male. Uh-huh. Now wait. Read that. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. That's the same thing. Since the original version, it would have had the popular in it. Uh, right. That was their In this breaking of the female nigger, we have reversed the relationship. They reversed it from the man being on top to put the woman on top. In her natural, uncivilized state, she would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger man. We reverse the nature by burning and pulling one civilized nigga apart. So they would torture us and pull us apart in front of our women's face. Mm -hmm. And bull whipping the other to the point of death, all in her presence. By her being left alone, unprotected, with the male image destroyed, the ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. So that's why you got the, all the single ladies that miss independent and all that. That's all Bible prophecy. Right. That all just was put into place by Willie Lynch. Right. That's why a woman feel like she's the head because he put her as the head. That was the plan. He said the way you destroy a people is you put that woman ahead of that man right. and that's going to destroy the family unit and, and they continue their process of trying to destroy our family units. And and what do they man. do? They run that man out the house. They try to put him in jail every time he turn around and they're going to keep trying to destroy our family units. And then what happens? The woman is going to raise up monsters. Read that part again. As, as for my people, children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors because there ain't no daddy in the house. Right. That's right. And women rule over them. And women are ruling over these men. That is the problem. That was, the, it, that was put in place by Willie Lynch. But read on. In this frozen psychological state of independence, uh -huh. She will raise her male and female offspring in reverse roles. In reverse roles. That's why you see these effeminate men walking around with their pants below their butt, trying to show they behind on. You That's know effeminate. What? You, know what you see women walking around like they dudes want to get in your face. They are masculine. They raising them in the reverse roles. Read it. Because she has become psychologically independent. Now she's independent. She will train her female offspring to become psychological, independent as well. Uh -huh. What have you got? 
You've got the nigger woman out front and the nigger man behind and scared. Before the breaking process, we had to be alert and on guard at all times. They said before they broke us by breaking us in front of our women and putting our women above us, they had to be alert at all times. But after what? Now we can sleep soundly. Now they can sleep at night because they broke that woman and that woman broke the house. Now they know that everything going in reverse order. They ain't got to worry about no uprising. Right. Them, them, those slave men gonna be yes or boss. What you want, boss? Yeah. What's the matter? We sick? That's what don't happen after that. <laughs> but they knew before that, they was like, we can't sleep at night. Because them niggas out there plotting and they gonna come in here and kill us. Right. right. But let's read on. For out of frozen fear, his woman stands guard for us. His woman stands guard for them. Our women don't stand guard for us. They stand guard for them. That's why they walk around. They got these long weeds down their back. They want the white woman hair on her head. They trying to, they trying to be that white woman. Bleaching they want they bleaching their skin. They, they have the hair of God. The hair is your natural hair is the hair of God, the most high God in heaven. That's the hair you got. They'll change that because they envy their oppressor. But read on. This what else we got. Let me see. Give me that. Let's go. Through the breaking of uncivilized savage niggers by throwing the nigger male savage into a frozen psychological state of independence, we have created an orbiting cycle that turns on its own axis forever. So they said this cycle will continue forever, but let's see what go, what's going on. They're going to tell you how it can be broken though, read. Unless a phenomenon occurs. Unless a phenomenon occurs, this cycle will continue forever. I'm going to show you the phenomenon that's going to occur that occurred in the Bible. Give me Acts chapter 2 starting verse 17. This is the phenomenon that happened that started breaking that process. It started turning up, things back to the natural order. Bring that out. Acts chapter 2 verse 17. Read. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in the last days, said God. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That's the phenomenon. He poured out his spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Your old men are going to dream dreams. And on my servants. And on, and on my servants. And my handmaids. I will pour out in those days of my my spirit. So that was the phenomenon. He said, unless a phenomenon happened, this same thing will go on forever. Well, we know. And reshifts the positions of the male and female savages. That's what we out here doing. We trying to reshift this phenomenon. We telling you, no, the woman not supposed to be on top. You supposed to be on top. Give me uh, First Corinthians 11, start verse three. I'm showing this is the reshifting now. This is the process. We out here trying to do that right now. We're trying to reshift it back to where it should be. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. This is the way it should be. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Christ is our head. He's our leader. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the leader of that woman is the man. That's the natural order. we trying to reverse it just like it said had to happen. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God, so it's an order. God, Christ, man, woman, child. That's right. And we're trying to get us back to that rightful order. Read. We breed two nigger males with two nigger females. Then we take the nigger males away from them and keep them moving and working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say the nigger female bears a, a nigger female and the other bears a nigger male. Both nigger females, being without influence of the nigger male image. No man in the house. Three. Frozen with an independent psychology. Frozen with an independent uh, psychology. I mean, will raise their offspring into reverse positions. The one the with reverse the, positions. Three. The one with the female offspring will teach her to be like herself. She gonna teach that woman <coughs> child to be just like her. Independent. Uh, she gonna be masculine. Three. <laughs> Independent and negotiable. Mm -hmm. Negotiable. Whenever they wanted us to do something, they went to the woman. They like, look, get them to do this. Get them slaves to go out here and do this. Convince them to do this. They still do it. They still come at us through the woman. How did the devil come at us? You know how the through devil the came through the woman? That's all.
always what they right. try to oh, come I, at I, us I, through. I, I, they I, come I, at us through the women. Right, right. We know. We negotiate with her. They negotiate with our women. Through her, by her, and negotiate her at will. Get her the job. The one with the nigger male offspring. She being frozen with the subconscious the fear for his life. Come back out to the street will raise him to be mentally you. dependent you. Oh, and weak. She you said, he it. said, read that part again. Will raise him to be mentally dependent and weak. That's what kind of man these single parent houses raise. With these only these women in the house, yep. they raise him to be mentally weak. Free. But physically strong. He's strong. He can go work in the field all day. But mentally he's weak. In other words, body over mind. Now, in a few years, when these two offsprings become fertile for early reproduction, we will mate and breed them and continue the cycle. They're going to continue that cycle. This is good, sound, and long-range comprehensive planning. So now, uh, so now, jump that. let's get that. By reversing the positions of the male. So this is the result of reversing them positions. And the female savages. Uh -huh. We have created an orbiting cycle that turns on its own axis forever. Unless phenomenon occurred and the Phenomenon is this Bible being taught back in the earth the proper way. This is us telling you that them churches are the devil. They do not have an understanding of this Bible. They don't have, have no clue what this Bible is talking about because they telling you white man Jesus. They in there telling you that it's, uh, uh, what's some of the stuff we came up with earlier? Uh, come as you are. Yeah, uh, God the hates the sin, not the sinner. That's all lies. They, they gave them in, in slavery. Oh, and reshifted the positions of the male and female savages. Mm -hmm. The mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time. So over a long enough time, the mind is going to try to recorrect itself. It's going to try to get back to the proper understanding of where we should be. That's what it's going to try to do. That's just natural. See? If it can touch some substantial or original historical base. If it can touch some substantial or, what is it? Read it again. If it can. Come on. If it can. Take your time. The mind has has, has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself Watch this. over a period of time. If it can touch some substantial, original, historical base. This is your original, substantial, historical base right here. That's right. This tells you your history. This is everything that happened to us before hmm. 1619. Yeah. This is before 16. This is our historical base. King if Jay we can touch this, if we can touch it, if we can go back into it and start to figure it out, that's gonna break this cycle that he's talking about. That's and it right. is. You see that in our families. You see that in the repentant Israelites. You see that re that thing is reversed. This back to that man being on top, that woman being in her position, the kids being in order, and that household being run in the right, proper right manner. Away. You don't see him going to jail. You don't see him out drunk. You don't see her walking around out of order. Why? Because it's in this natural position again. Right. You read up. The best way to deal with this phenomenon is to shave off the brute's mental history. They did what? Shave off the brute's mental history. To shave off our history. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Watch this. He said they gotta make, they gotta get rid of our history. Ain't that what they did to us in slavery? We don't know where we come from. We don't know our language. We don't know. This was the program. I'm gonna show you the program in the Bible. Read Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. That was that program. Read it again. The best way to deal with this phenomenon is to shave off the brute's mental history. Read it. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. That's it. You know? <laughs> Where you at? Okay, let's see what else we do. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get it. Put the niggers and the horse in the breeding pot. Uh, uh, get this. Get this. We talking about like they broke the horses. That's how they broke Cross breeding the completed. Yeah. Cross breeding yeah. completed for further severance from their original beginning. 
one out of They had to sever us from our original beginning. Our original beginning was back to Adam. They severed us from this. We don't stay there. We didn't know this no more. All we knew is the garbage they taught you in church. Read. We must completely annihilate the mother tongue of both the nigger and the new mule. Now, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48, I think. Get that, it might be 49, look at it. I changed it, got into that word. I mean, not 48, 49. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from, from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flying. Mm -hmm. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation whose language we should not understand. Read that part again. We must completely annihilate the mother tongue. They completely annihilated our mother language, which is what we're reading right here. We didn't know our language no more. We could tell you, we didn't even know what it was. We didn't even have a clue where we came from, what language we spoke what clothes we wore. We didn't know none of our history, yeah. and which was the program instituted by Willie Lynch. And it's also Bible prophecy. In the, the mother tongue of both the nigger and the new mule and institute a new language that involves the new life work of both. You know, you know, language is a peculiar institution. It leads to the heart of a people. So the language will lead to the heart of a people, but they took our language. So we wouldn't have no connection to our true heritage and our history. We wouldn't know. I'm just saying this is my so, so that was the program, and that's what they put in place. So, right. so we got anything else? Oh, you better ask about the last security what guard. What you got? You talk shit to me. All right, go ahead. Let's see. Take a slave. If you teach, if you teach him all about your language, he if will you know. teach him all about your language, he will know. They teach us. They don't teach us nothing about our history. You open their history books. They tell you about Christopher Columbus. Right. You find out about all they great so-called great people, Alexander the Great, no this one, that one. They don't tell. You, all they tell you is Martin Luther King. Hey, time go fast. All right, well, hurry up. Let's get this. He will know all of your secrets, and he is then no more a slave. So he said, once he know all your secrets, he no more a slave. Right. So once you find out that a white man is a liar, you find out that this is your book. You find out that God loves you, don't love nobody else. He only loves you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it. That's right. That's what he said. When you find out the truth, and you can read this book. That Let's get it for you. Let's get me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me see that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Watch this. I'm going to show you that now. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy... Oh, I'm sorry. Chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. What does it mean to be special? Set aside. That means you're better. Right. right? Set aside. Mm -hmm. Above all people that Above are born. Above all people. Did it say equal to? Above. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said the Israelites are above all people all that are upon the face of the earth. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Chosen Watch this. Now I want you to get 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and 54. Watch this. Yep, 15. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. He said all the nations on the planet oh. are nothing but a drop of a bucket. <laughs> and are counted as the small dust of the balance. So if you got dust on your scale, do that move the scale any? No. Nope. He's saying that this is what they Don't like. <laughs> Behold, he take up, up the isles as a very little thing. Uh-huh. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. Read. Nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Come on. All nations before him. All nations, not some. He said all of them. Or as nothing. Or as what? Nothing. Read. And they are counted to him less than nothing. They are less than nothing. To the Lord. That, that to the is Lord. Isaiah chapter 40. We started in verse 15. Deuteronomy 6 and 7. 7 to 6. 7 to 6. Now watch this. Give me that. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, 
of him come we all. Everybody comes from Adam, right? Yeah. Everybody understand that? Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So it's a separation. You got everybody that came from Adam and the people who he chose. Oh, oh th hold on. Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. Oh, hold on. I want to get who he chose. 44 and 1. Let's find out who he chose. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Read. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. So he chose Israel. Read that again. And, yeah. Yeah. Read it from, from and who I'm chosen. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. And after these, no, start right here. and of the people him. of him, of him, of him, come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Which is Israel. Yeah, wow. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sakes. He said he made the world for our sakes. That's the reason the world is here, for us. Read. As for the other people. As for the, all them other people that don't come from uh, 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 Jacob, they're not Israelites. Read. Which also came of Adam. These people came out of Adam too. Thou hast said. That they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. Uh-huh. But be like into spittle. They be like onto spittle. Spit. What is spittle? Spit. Spit. He said these all these nations is like spit to him. They come from and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that has fallen from a vessel. He said you can take all of them nations like a drop that fall from a bucket. And if a drop, you got a full bucket of water and a drop fall out, you're gonna keep it moving. That's what he said they like. So that's the point. God only cares about one people all the way through the Bible, front to back. He's only talking about the children of Israel, right. which is us. Right. That's right. it. He don't care about nobody else. Well, they ain't teaching us that. They're not gonna teach it. But that's the thing. Remember, we just read in the really Willie Lynch. He said, if you can touch your history, if you can find it and touch your own history, that you're gonna reverse that cycle. Right. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we come out here. So we can reverse that cycle and show our people that they're the greatest people on the planet. All the all y'all come out here. We come out here every, every Saturday, Saturday. Every Saturday. Where y'all be at? We be right hey, here. Shalom, this I'm Elgin Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.